Good morning, it's Sheila from She's a Sassy Lady, and I wanted to share something with you. I've already designed the card. I did that last night watching TV, and I thought I'd come up and show you what I did and the process of why I did it. It's just a shape card, and we've done shape cards many, many times before. So it should be just kind of a reminder of what I'm doing and why I'm doing it, so that when you make your shape cards, you can do it also. Let me zoom in here a little bit more so you can see. And now what I did, and let me show you, I used uh, Create a Critter, the original Create a Critter. I seem to like that one more. I still like that one. The second one, I'm just, it's cute, but it, it's too holiday-ish. You know, and I need cards for every day and birthdays, etc. And this is going to be, um, I'm using, going to use the Stamps from Life are stamps of life and um, it's it's just a sayings one and it's going to say sorry I forgot on the front sorry I forgot and then on the inside it was your birthday okay and then I'll get another stamp she didn't have a happy birthday in here so I'm gonna have to find another stamp with just happy birthday on there and just happy birthday below that so, at any rate, I used, and I think from Robots, yeah, from Robots, there is a, and here I'll click over so you can see it. See this right here? It's on the um, font key. Font. Right there. I use that, and it's an oddball shape. Just so that you know, here, let me see how it's odd. And how do you make a shape card and connect? Well, you've got to drop it down and drop it where it joins up here. So you're going across all three of those. Oops. Get that off. And you're going across all three of the top line there so that um, it holds, okay? So that's what I did. As you can see, it's going across all three and let me go to the weld key the little eyeball and you can see how it joins up there is a little space in between but all three have gone over well unfortunately what that creates is a flat top you know where you've got a line going across the top and it's just totally flat well I don't like that I made a shape card because I want a shape so once you make your card and you join it like I've, I've showed you how to do many many times you know join them together and I've got the little frog joined in as a part of the top also instead of just setting it on it's going to be a part of the shape of the card so that it fits right in okay so then after I did this I hit just like that so that I had a copy of it and I went over to layer two and I just pasted it on separated by just going on the the um, the solid base one excuse me a minute sorry it was my dentist's office okay and I just separated the two and then got rid of it and then just did a copy and paste now I'm going to use this particular card for my card party so I've got the that four up on here I've got it two up on the first page so that now I need eight cards I need seven for the party one to show so I need eight cards so I'll just have to cut this out four times to get my um, my little um, my card, my card base, and it's a five by five card, okay? Now, the second, I have to cut this out twice, and I'll have eight of the little froggy guys, okay? And I actually think I'm going to cut it out three times. You know why? Because uh, that'll give me, three will give me 12, and I can cut out this one six times and that'll give me 12 cards because I tell you what I forget birthdays all the time so that'll give me lots of extra cards for myself plus the fact when I got to layer three and I did the little frogs aren't they just too cute I love the creator critter, critter frog now notice to fit it in and I was going to originally I didn't know how many I was making and then I decided to use this for my card party but notice how to fit it in I flipped the one little frog upside down so I used little paper, a little less paper. 
So now I've got six and six. I tried laying one across the bottom, but it just wouldn't fit. It was too wide. And each of my little frogs is, let me tell you the size, three inches in height. Aren't they just too cute? So I'll have the little frogs. And then on this page, I've got the frog's tummy. And what I'm going to do on that, since I know how many cards I'm going to make, I'm just going to double this up and then um, do it, you know, do it all in one cut. And I was going to do a two-sided paper, but I found some paper that I really, really like. And I don't think I need to, although I should check. Um, I could not put color on the inside, but I think I'm just going to leave it white and ink the edges. So, and then this is the frog's little eyeballs, okay? So when I go to make it, I'll probably just pull these two things off. They're the same size, as you can see. I'll probably just pull those off, okay? So now that I've showed you that, let me show you the paper, and then later on, I'll come back and I'll show you putting the card together. But I thought, you know what, this is a card that we've done over and over and over again. And if I just show you what I did, then we'll be able, you know, you'll be able to see. This is the, um, here, the uh, Blossom Song Stack from Design Cuts with a View. Oh, here, let me zoom back out, show you what paper I decided on. It, it's kind of a, it, it, what I liked about it is it had so many different greens. And with the frog, you know, you use different shades of green. Well, I can use the frog base like this and do his belly with this, or I can do the frog base with this and his belly, but I think I'll use the frog base with this color, and it's got a, this little light color, and then use that as his belly. Or wait a minute, let's get back, hold on, let's get back to the frog and look at it. Oh, I see, no, no, no. One's got to be the dark, so the dark we'll have on the bottom, then we'll have the light on the top, and then I still need another one for his belly. I can do his belly in that. Wouldn't that be cute? Then I thought for the base, or I could use his belly in that, and that's kind of shiny. One of the two. I'm going to use blue and white paper. I think I'll use this for the belly. Uh, let me show you the paper that I chose. Look at that. It's very busy, but I thought, you know what? That'll be pretty because it'll just be in the background. That's not going to work. I'm just thinking, how am I going to stamp on the front of this? Of course, I could stamp a little thing. Mm -mm -mm. Looks like I got some thinking to do, don't I? I don't really want a solid color. I could use this, couldn't I? And the stamp, how thick is the stamp, the lettering on the stamp? Where did that stamp go? All these decisions, isn't it something when we start making? Okay, sorry, I forgot. It's not really thick. I don't think it's going to show up on that. That's just a light blue. I could go with a light blue, but I don't, you know, that's just not really me. That's too dark. I'm going to stick with my original, and I'll have to do... Hmm. I'll probably have to put a little flag on it that says, Sorry, I forgot. Frog got. Sorry, I forgot. It was your birthday. And I don't think I'm, I'm going to fill all of them out since I, if I cut out all 12 of them, I, I've got this other little one that says it's better to get laugh wrinkles than to get worry warts. Cool, huh? Anyway, that's what I'm doing and that's what I'm going to put together. And I don't see any other one that I like that I, although I could use this one. Well, you know what? That's what we could do. We could use this as the base and I could stamp on that and just use a nice black stamp ink. That would show up. Maybe I'll use this as the base then. And I've got two sheets. That wouldn't work. One, two, that will only give me four cards. Because I figured on this one over here, 
Do you believe I go through this every time? This is why, and I thought, I'm going to let you in on what I go through when I'm picking out paper. No, it's going to have to be this one because I've got eight sheets here. And I'm going to make only eight. Two, four, six, eight, and they'll all be similar in color. That's what we're going to do. But this is what I go through every time I pick out paper, and I know you guys do the same thing. You just don't admit it. So I thought I'd show you what I go through each and every time. And I thought I'd just show you how I decide when I'm making multiple, multiple um, little cards. That's what I do. Now, another thing that I do, and I'm not going to save this so you can see exactly what I do. Now, when I cut this out, since I'm going to have to do eight cards only, okay, since I don't have paper for 12 cards, I'm going to do only eight cards. Now, what I'm going to do is I'll first cut this one. I'll have six little froggies on there, right? You can see them. Six little froggies and six little froggies. So I'll cut that green paper in half and I'll cut them and all of that will show up at the same time. Then what I'll do is I will take out two, take out those two, and I'll cut that with the other. I won't cut all those little frogs out. Although, you know what, I could and use them on other cards. Maybe I think I'll do that. I'll just use them on other cards because that would really be cute. I'd have all of them cut out then. I have six little frogs cut out and I can use them on something else. I'll cut out the little frogs then I'll have some extras. All these decisions, do you do the same thing? Anyway, I want you to make any shape card and link it up so we can see what you do, okay? And please start linking up because I have to decide whether I'm going to pay for the links again for another year or leave them off and I'm still not sure what I want to do and I'm going to make that decision in the next couple of weeks because as of February I think 4th I have to decide whether to or not and if you're not linking up I'm not going to pay to have it done so you have a great day link up a project for me talk to you later bye now